So folks, when I pulled up on the job, the, uh, my client hired the mason. I just did the design and my client, um, I did give the, my client a referral as far as which supplier to go to. And then the supplier, you know, gave him some, some fellas to call. And the mason that came out and did the work, I am just so impressed by the work. Uh, this is like my dream wall, and, and it's funny, this wall actually ends up being at what we call seating wall height, where you could, uh, you could sit on it. My head wouldn't be in the screen, but you could sit on it. And it would be really nice if the bus stop was right in front of the house. Unfortunately, it's not. But uh, what a great place to, you know, sit and talk with your neighbors on the wall. But why am I so impressed by this wall? What makes this wall so special? And I think with some masons, um, there's some very good masons out there, but there's some guys that aren't really artists. And I think, you know, given our druthers, I think we'd rather have an artist building our walls than someone who's just stacking stones. So what is it about this wall that I, I really am so impressed by? Well, the first thing is the mason chose to go with this veneer stone, okay? And you see how it's, um, it's a very thin stone and, um, a lot of walls you see today to be more economical, and I understand with bigger walls, you have to, you know, the masons end up putting the stones upright. So the side of the wall looks like the top with these big stones. And take a look here and you can see how it's, it really works with the scale, it's a smaller wall. But even for bigger walls, and it's, it's more expensive, if you can have the mason build it so it looks like an old farm wall, I think it's a much more elegant look. Uh, the other thing I notice about the wall is, you know, these stones actually have some moss on them and you can see, unfortunately, the moss is, is not making it because it's so hot and dry, but he left the moss right on the outside of the stones and that, that again, is a touch that someone that's just slapping rocks up wouldn't even care, but this fella really did a nice job putting the moss on the outside. The joints on this wall, if you take a look at the side, this is what is called, um, Actually, I'm probably making this up, but a hidden, hidden joint, hidden mortar. The mortar is actually into the wall. Now, again, that's something that's going to take a little bit more expertise, a little bit more of a, a nodule mason. But when you look at this wall, even from down by the road there, you can't see the mortar. And I think that is just really a nice touch. And then the final thing um, that I really like about this wall, and, and unfortunately there's a little bit of dirt here, but all the joints on the top of the wall the mason put, uh, you know, some mortar in these joints to keep water from getting in the wall. The reason you put a, a cap on a wall is to keep water from getting inside. Because once the water gets inside, it's going to freeze and thaw. What happens when water freezes, it expands. What happens when water expands in a wall, it pushes the stones. So you want to have a nice cap. And, you know, this fella, he used the nice flat stones. And when I look at all these joints, there's not really any mortar on the stones. I mean, yeah, there's a touch, but I've been to, to walls where I've seen guys that obviously weren't artists and they'll just like smear mortar all over the place. And this wall, it doesn't have that, that smeared mortar. And I really, I really think it's, it's a nice touch. And you know, one other thing for me when I'm looking at stone walls and trying to evaluate a mason is you'll notice how all these capstones are they're laid horizontally some masons and and i don't know i don't know enough about masonry to know if this is a personal preference or if there's a reason to it but when they build these walls where the stones are all upright sometimes they'll have an upright stone at the edge and then and then the flat stone and it just looks very amateurish to me for whatever reason i think the cap should be like a separate level i also think it's probably better because it'll deflect water better but, um, you know, I also like the fact that the cap is one separate tier. There's no mixing of the lower layers. And, and I have to explain that better, maybe with a different wall at some point. But I really just want to, you know, say hats off to the mason that did this job. It came out absolutely beautiful. If I knew the wall was going to come out this nice, what I probably would have recommended in the middle of the wall was to get like a little granite oval. And keep this in mind if you guys are ever doing a wall, like a little piece of granite oval that said the house number and the street name and have that centered in the front of that wall. I think that would have been just a really awesome touch and it would have fit in so nicely with this wall. So just uh, 
you know, when you're calling masons and, and when you're calling landscape designers, because we're all, we're all different, just because somebody says they're a mason or a landscape designer, that does not mean we're all the same. There's differences, and you really have to look at the work the landscape designer's done or the work that the mason's done.